Hello and welcome back to another quick overview video of a past project. This project is from when I made a gaming cabinet. What I wanted to do was create a cabinet to house all of my games consoles and have it backlit with a series of LEDs. Hopefully in these videos you'll find some useful processes for projects you're making. This first video is me using the board saw to cut out the panels. Now unfortunately I couldn't find the original plans for this cabinet as I made it a year ago, but they're what I keep referring to off screen. Some of the things I like in this video is me trying to work out grain direction, trying to work out what will look nice on the outside faces of the cabinet, and measuring twice to cut once. This next video, what I'm doing is I'm using the circular saw, without a guard, which is quite dangerous, to cut slots in the back of the dividers. These slots are what are going to house the plastic, which is what I'm going to backlight through with the LEDs. So in that first video of the cabinet where you saw the plastic backs, these are kind of the slots that that's mounted into. And now what I do after cutting the slots is I take the panels outside the workshop and start doing a dry fit. This again is useful just to check everything fits, to check everything lines up and to check my measurements before I start finishing the wood and before I start gluing the panels together. This cabinet is made from oak faced MDF and what you'll see now is I'm just applying some iron on edge banding to the cut edges. This is something I can trim down later but really gives a nice finish. If you wanted a more robust finish you can apply 2mm PVC edge banding but you'd need to route that out in order to get a groove to mount into. Now what you're seeing again is me doing a dry fit testing the plastic in the back and actually finishing some of the inside faces. I chose to finish the wood with some homemade food safe finish I made a while ago which is a 50-50 mix of natural oil and beeswax and I think gives a really nice finish to the wood. I've chosen to apply it now because it's easier to do so. With all the cavities, inside faces and box joints it would be hard to finish the cabinet once it's finely glued together. For the plastic sheets at the back of the cabinet, I used some privacy screen. This is something that you can use on windows or showers, but what it helps to do is diffuse the acrylic. So when I apply the LEDs to the back of this cabinet, you'll get a nice glow. And with all these parts prepared and glued together now, it's time for final assembly. So what you're going to see is that I'm gluing and biscuiting the joints. It's quite nice that you can see the gap I've left in the finish of these. So if you look at the vertical side, you'll see that I've not applied the oil to the areas I intend to glue. And that is hopefully so that I can get some decent penetration. The choice to use the back panels for the LEDs is really useful here because what it's helping doing is hold the actual frame square while it glues. And what I'm just going to do now is work my way up through the cabinets. So we've got what is the top layer of shelves and I'm applying glue to add in the bottom of that top layer of shelves. So select my correct edge, line everything up and attach it together. One of the things I do with this construction is I've used biscuits on the bottom and the concealed joints but I've used some mechanical fixings on the bottom of the dividers. This is just to hold them square, but I've chosen not to do it through the top of the dividers because you'd be able to see that on top of the cabinet and I wanted a nice clean wooden finish. So you'll just see I keep building up the two layers where the games consoles go, using the acrylic at the back to support the side pieces and again adding mechanical fixings at the bottom. It's quite a nice construction because it's a bit like Lego, how it all clips together. And the use of the slots in the sides and the dividers really helps make a frame. The final part of this construction is the production of the two drawers at the bottom to hold the games and accessories. And you'll see this next. I did this in a very similar manner to the rest of the cabinet. So again, it's using the oak faced MDF. I've got plastic dividers in at the width of the games and it's screwed together as a construction. The only really interesting note on the drawers is that I did a double face. This was for two reasons. 
The first was to hide the fixings, again like with the cabinet, and the second was so the hole at the front that you put your finger through to open the drawer is actually two diameters. The outer diameter is a bit narrower than the inner diameter, so it gives you a lip to pull against. This in no way is a perfect cabinet construction, but again, it was quite a fun project. As I say with a lot of these projects, if I were to make it again, I think the first thing that I'd do is actually make it out of real wood. Veneered MDF is less expensive and easy to work with, but nothing beats real wood. Those are the draw dividers going in. I'm gluing the face on and as I said, there's a second facing panel just so that you can't see any fixings. I'll clamp the two drawers up together and leave them to dry. Thank you for watching this project. I hope you enjoyed it and if you did, please consider subscribing. There's going to be new videos coming out quite regularly of past and future projects, as well as some instructional videos for some workshop processes. So again, thank you for watching and I hope to see you again soon in a future video.